I'm already mildly anxious for what I know is going to transpire today, but it must be done and we're going to use all the different decluttering methods out there to make sure we declutter as much as possible in today's long awaited attic declutter. I have had decluttering my attic on the top of my docket for a really, really long time now, but it's been too hot to go into my unair conditioned, uninsulated attic in Texas. But now that it is finally cooled off this week in Texas, I feel good about doing this declutter. Mm, good might not be the right word. I feel motivated <laughs> to do this declutter. Let's get right to it. Before we do, I'm sitting next to Barf right next to me, which is why I don't have the sheets or the bedding on this. As I hopefully take care of this, I'll tell you how this happened. Um, long story short, my son vomited on this bed. <laughs> I thought I had mattress protectors on all of my beds, but apparently this one I did not. And so the vomit soaked through the sheets and then soaked into this mattress topper. I'm really hoping what you're seeing right now is going to save it. If it doesn't, I guess I'll just buy another mattress topper and a mattress protector this time. Here we are in my attic. Dang, it's still like kind of warm in here, but this needs to get done. I'm going to keep all of the decluttering methods top of mind for this to really make sure I do a thorough job in cleaning out this attic. The main four decluttering methods I'm gonna keep top of mind today to help me through this is the KonMari method, does it spark joy? There's the poop method, which basically says, if this item was covered in poop, would it be worth washing it to save it? The X test, which is dangerous dangerously effective for me at times, which is if this item was at your ex's house, is it important enough to you to ask your ex to get it back? And then last but not least, and this one is very commonly used for addicts, is the Swedish death cleaning method. And it sounds morbid, but it is good food for thought that someday when you pass away and your friends, family, children have to go through all the crap in your house, and in this case, this attic, are these items really that valuable and worth making your friends and family sort through it after you're, you know, ashes to ashes, dust to dust. Anyways, I'm going to keep all of that top of mind today and I'm still talking when I should be decluttering, so let's get right to it. I would say put everything in a pile here, but I feel like it's already a giant pile, so we're just gonna start working through it. Super old router, I can't even donate this. Some of this stuff is actually pretty useful because I've been needing new trash cans in a couple rooms and so I'm just gonna repurpose these. I thought I had mattress protectors on all my beds and I was right. The one that was supposed to be on the bed that is now destroyed with vomit, it's in here for some reason. I have no freaking clue why. At least I don't have to buy another mattress protector. I found this tour chart and I wanted to tell you the little story behind why my boy's tour chart is shoved in the back corner of this attic. If you're new to my channel, hi, my name is Mai and I'm a divorcee. <laughs> Sounds like I'm in an AA meeting, but gets the point across quickly. Two-ish years ago, I split from my husband of 10 years. We'd been together a total of 17 years though. From the time I was 15 to 33, we were together. Anyways, my twins were just about to be school age at the time and so I felt like it was important now that they're going to be school age big boys they should have some chores that they do around the house daily so I created this chore board and then literally I don't know maybe two three days after I created this chore board I found out some interesting information about my marriage that made me not want to be married anymore you know when you get divorced you have to split time with the kids and I also felt really guilty that I couldn't provide the two-parent household that I grew up with, that all my friends grew up with. Like no one in my immediate friend or family group is divorced or comes from a divorced household. So I don't know, I felt a lot of shame and guilt at the time and probably veered a little bit too much the year post split in spoiling my kids. Anyways, long story short, the chore board only lasted two or three days until um, the dissolution of my marriage. I was very much in the mindset of when my boys are with their dad, that's when I'll clean up the house. We're just going to have fun. And I feel like that was appropriate to help them through the initial hard transition of their dad and I splitting up. But at a certain point, life happens and the realities of life is it's not always fun. 
And when you do make a mess, you have to clean it up. Over the last year and going forward, like life is life. <laughs> when you are living a life, there are chores and responsibilities and it's my job as a mom to teach them how to do those efficiently so that they can grow up to be Ben someday. So chore board's coming back. Oh, poster holders. I'm setting these out. I can definitely use these. My boys have been asking for posters in their room and I don't really like just plain paper posters up on the wall. So these poster holders are perfect. Wow, I'm actually finding some useful stuff in here. We got the beds over here and then just cleared up the rest of the space. Aw, high school sweethearts, so cute. That felt really good. Huh, what am I gonna do with all these canvas prints that have my ex on them? You know I don't show my kids' faces, so I won't show a lot of these canvas prints, but this one's a nice little family photo with my ex and I and our three children, and I feel like any photo that has my kids in it, I will save for them to have someday. But if it's just a photo of me and my ex-husband, I'm burning it. <laughs> I mean that literally, I'm going to burn any photo that is just me and my ex, cause why not? Sounds fun. Oh, wedding photo, so my kids are not in this. Burn, honeymoon photo, gonna burn this. High school dance photo, burn. The rest of these have my children in them, so I will save them. Mini life update that I thought of because of all of this ski stuff that I am keeping. Oh my gosh, it's so dusty in here, I need to sneeze. Hey! <laughs> All right, where was I? Ah, uh, yes, all of this ski stuff here. So if y'all have been following me for a while, you know that I have a boyfriend. Even though I'm a divorcee, I didn't completely give up on love. All of this ski stuff I am keeping and hopefully getting use out of. I should really have my boys try this on to make sure it still fits them. But my boyfriend and I, we love each other. <laughs> so we want to go on vacations together and we fortunately have the same exact holiday cadence so we don't have our kids for Thanksgiving so we're going to Costa Rica together we do have our kids for Christmas this year so we're going on a grand family vacation he I and all five boys we are driving to Santa Fe to go stay with my mom and go skiing so I really hope all of this ski stuff still fits my three boys because buying brand new ski stuff again would be very expensive. Skiing is not cheap as it is. Ski gear is not cheap. So I don't know. Here's to hopefully my boys not growing a lot over the last year. So all of this still fits. All right. What is this over here? I could use this in my guest room. Trash. Just random trash. Honestly, I don't even know what this is, so I guess this is trash. Some leftover eggs. This should go in my spring decor. All right, I confiscated the magnetiles a while ago because I was having issues with my boys constantly playing with the magnetiles, it being a mess all over our play area upstairs, and then they would never clean it up. And then when I would ask them to clean it up, they would ask like I was asking them to torture themselves, <laughs> which is obviously not what I was doing. So I confiscated their prized magnetiles for probably it's been like two or three months now. So I feel like I can reintroduce these and let them make the choice as to whether or not they want to keep them in the playroom or if they're gonna have to be relegated back to the scary attic. Okay, can you see that? It's a curtain rod. I don't have curtains anymore, so this can donate. Aww. Uh, another visit from my wedding dress. I feel like this has popped up in a lot of videos. First, it popped up when I was still married, thinking everything was a normal marriage. And I was excited to have found it because I thought I had donated it or sold it or that my mom decluttered it. I was so happy I found it. And then maybe, I don't know, three-ish months later, my marriage ended. I think maybe like a few months after 
after my marriage ended. I came across this in a different decluttering video and I asked y'all in the comments to tell me what to do with this old dress. And it seemed like the majority of comments said to donate it. So I might piss some people off, but I'm not gonna donate it. I feel like this dress has bad juju. I don't think anyone else should wear this for their wedding after everything I've been through. If, if the people who feel like clothes should be reused and are big on thrifting are upset that I'm not going to donate this dress, at least know that I didn't buy this dress new. I bought it used off of eBay for like $300. So I thrifted this dress. It's gotten multiple uses. I don't know why the last people thrifted it. Maybe they also got a divorce. So I'm, I'm just gonna assume that two people who were married in this dress are now divorced. And so it has bad juju. I'm not gonna sell it. Even if I wanted to sell it at this point, it's, you know, 12 or 13 years old. No one wants it. And I actually feel like, does keeping this bring me joy? No. You know what I think would bring me joy? If I burned it. <laughs> so along with those canvas prints, I think I'm gonna burn this. You know what? O overall, I don't need an explanation. It's my dress and I want to burn it. So that's what I'm going to do. As long as we're going through all of this, we need to go through my memorabilia. I'm going to take it out of this dusty attic for that process. When I did my con my method memorabilia declutter, I think it was only a few months before my split. So all the things that I valued before my divorce are still in these memorabilia bins. And as I said before, any photos that have my kids in them, I will keep. I will keep that for them, for their memories. It is their life. But anything that happened before their life, I don't feel bad about throwing out. Some people might disagree with me, but when I think of the decluttering methods, I can't think of any reason to save photos of me and my ex that don't have my kids in them. And I don't care what anyone else says. They don't bring me joy. If they were covered in poop, I would not wash them off. If they were at my ex's house, I would not ask for them back. And in the event of my untimely death I don't want like images of just lies <laughs> available for everyone to see because <laughs> at this point of my life in a weird way I kind of feel like I'm so thankful for my kids I'm so happy for where I am today and I don't regret having kids with him because I love my kids so much but I feel like I could have just gotten my kids and like left everything else <laughs> in it behind me everything else in a weird way kind of feels like a waste and not necessarily just because it had ended I feel like I truly in my heart feel like if things had ended amicably and if things had just ended because we just felt like we were better off as friends or something and everyone had been honest and truthful i don't feel like you know all the years prior to having my kids were a waste the reason why i think it's a waste is because in hindsight i now realize that it was a lie like i was living a lie and coming to that realization is really tough and i just don't want any part of it so that's why I feel fine with burning all the photos of just me and my ex. Really, I don't have to justify it other than I own these images, so they're mine to burn or do whatever I want with them, and I choose burn. <laughs> Keep those, trash these. There's some that it's like, I know it was around my wedding, but but it's all my friends and my cousins with me, so I'll keep it. Look, I had black hair and I was only 23. I went through a phase where I made all of these books like of different trips and stuff we took and our wedding album is in here and this is all pre-kids so burn pile you know how i know i'm making the right decision to burn all of these photos it's because i feel so much joy right now just knowing it's all about to be burned all right with all that i decluttered i can probably fit basically all of my memories just in this one giant box now. Mys memorabilia, one box. My keep stuff and all my burn stuff. All right, can I lift this? Am I strong enough? Oh, oh my God, oh, I can do it, I can do it. Oh. Ow, that hurt my wrist. 
Oh my goodness, look at all this floor space, y'all. I got a usable Texas attic, more storage over here, over yonder. This makes sense, is mostly labeled. I have storage back here if I choose to use it, more storage right here. You guys. So much space for activities. So much was cleared out of my attic. There is a lot to be donated and a lot to burn. Before we can start burning though, I need to clear out my crusty, rusty fire pit here. Ooh, it's rained a lot the last few days. Hold that thought, I need to go buy some lighter fluid. Got some lighter fluid and a lighter from Target along with a little snacky for the show. I'm doing this voiceover a couple weeks after filming this and confirming now, I still have zero regret. To anyone who struggles to relate to this video, I just wanna say, I'm happy for you. Clearly you've never been pathologically lied to. So it totally makes sense that you wouldn't be able to understand why I feel the way I feel. And for anyone who relates all too well to this, I just wanna say I'm sorry. I'm sorry that someone took advantage of your kindness and naivete, but if you're on the other side of that, at least you're no longer naive, but you're still kind, and that is better than the other person will ever be. And I know, some people may think this video seems not that kind. And again, congrats, you've never been royally screwed over. If someone thinks me standing up for myself in this tiny way is not kind, then I don't know, it kind of sounds like they're a bully that just wants the victims to sit down and shut up. There are two books I recommend for anyone who feels like they just discovered their whole life was a lie and i will link them in the description box below you are stronger than you know it's not easy it's definitely a journey but i'd rather live a storied life that is real than a lie a little too satisfying that was probably the most satisfying declutter of all time. Wow, I should burn everything going forward. <laughs> that was really fun. The pyro in me got to come out. I'm feeling good. I, I don't know what drugs feel like, but this feels like I'm on drugs. <laughs> okay, maybe maybe I used a little too much lighter fluid. Is that Does that do something? I don't know. I feel good though. I feel really good about life right now. I feel very thankful. I feel spiritual right now. Whew. Okay, my kids got home. I had to do the whole mom thing, go do dinner, bedtime, all of that. They're in bed now. So now I can finish filming with my handy dandy lights to illuminate the room. I don't remember where I left off, but I'm happy that my attic is now decluttered. It's clean, it's organized, and I feel really good about the memorabilia burn. I learned what I needed from that chapter and I kept all the images of my kids because they are proof that beautiful things can come from hard times and everything else. I'm good with it going up in flames. <laughs> it was actually pretty freeing to burn all of it. It was like my watered down version of a woman scorned who takes all of her boyfriend's stuff, throws it out in the backyard and lights it on fire, except for I am a rule follower, so I would never do that. This was all my personal property, so I was allowed to legally light it on fire, but it was still very freeing and satisfying. I don't need any of that stuff to remember where I came from or to appreciate my kids. Burning it wasn't about erasing the past. It was about making space for better things in the future. I'm choosing to only carry forward things in my life that serve a purpose and bring peace and joy to me. And I guess if it doesn't bring joy, I'm good with watching it burn. <laughs> the end.